Hi, I'm Greg Chi. I'm Sarah Maisel. And we're here to talk a little bit about our custom GHS strings. Now, this that I have um, strung up on my tenor size ukulele is what we call the Barry Tenor Strings. Now, um, when Sarah and I first started collaborating and, and playing music together, we wanted a little bit more depth um, in our sound, even you know, high G versus low G, there wasn't enough, wasn't enough separation. And so we worked with the GHS to um, find an, another tuning, uh, something that would really give us that extra sound between the two of us. So Sarah still has um, your typical high G tuning on her uke. And this uke, uh, we'll try one more time. So my dog has fleas with that re-entrant <laughs> tuning. And this still is re-entrant in the sense there's a high note on the top, but it goes down a lot more. So this is my dog has fleas, a lot bigger fleas. <laughs> um, so what this does, this is tuned like a baritone, but with a re-entrant D on top. So it's a high D, G, B, E, compared to G, C, E, A. So that means if um, Sarah is playing, let's say a B flat, yep. I can play that exact same shape, but fifth, uh, five frets up, and I'll be playing the exact mm -hmm. same chord as her. So pretty much we're gonna have the exact same shapes, um, just calling them something a little differently. So all the shapes that you know and love. But you have a much deeper, uh, lower voicing of them. And so between the two uh, tunings, now we really can uh, get a little bit more depth between us and, and have these really fun arrangements that we can play yeah. off of each other a little bit more without stepping on each other's uh, feet a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And uh, let... Do you want to do a one, six, two, five? Four? Sure. Here we go. So you can hear the difference between them and uh, just how much more depth it adds having this. One thing that I do want to point out about this particular tuning is it's meant for a tenor ukulele. Mm -hmm. So. It was something that we didn't want to travel with a baritone and wanted to keep to that tenor and have it be re entrant. So here we go. A one, two, three, four. So as you can see, we have a lot more to play with um, notes-wise between the two of us. Mm -hmm. um, and we have a little bit deeper sound out of this guy with still being able to travel with a small compact uh, tenor size ukulele. Yeah. Uh, and the other, my favorite thing about this tuning is that re-entrant tuning. Most um, baritone string sets out there are linear. You have that low D, uh, G, B, E. So it sounds almost just like a small guitar, but mm -hmm. I still was really passionate about having it still sound like an ukulele. So part of it is because it's being played on a smaller uh, body, but because of that re entrant tuning, I can still do things like. And still really make it sound like an ukulele. All right, and um, oh, one last thing too is these strings, the ground nylon strings, are very, very comfortable. Sarah's very set soft. with the high G set are the exact same type of ground nylon strings. They're very yeah. soft, low tension strings. And for the low G, we did need to have a wound guy just to get that deepness. Oh, the wound C? <laughs> oh, the wound, no, the wound G. Oh, G, yes. I'm so sorry, I'm thinking in high G. <laughs> um, but because of that, we have that nice deep sound mm -hmm. and it feels really, really nice on your fingers. And the great thing is that we were really working very hard with GHS trying to make a set that worked on a tenor instrument, but was the reentrant tuning. That reentrant baritone tuning is very difficult to find, and we are thrilled to be able to work with GHS to get that tuning just right for a little tenor ukulele. So definitely check them out at ghs.com. Hello.